What's going on guys? So today we're talking multi-tools, all right? These are two multi-tools I've had for a pretty long time, um, and I never did a video on them. So I was kind of going through things and found them and wanted to talk about them a little bit because they are pretty interesting. These are the Cinch 1 and Cinch 2 from SOG or SOG, all right? So basically we have a large version and a small version. And what's pretty cool about these is you can use these as a belt buckle, all right? So you can see that there's actually the bar here as well as the post. To use this as a belt buckle, if you were to use it as a belt buckle, you would go through these holes, all right, to remove the two screws and take off this giant pocket clip on the back, okay? Then it would just be a belt buckle mount for this multi-tool. Or you would take off the post and this bar here and just keep the big old pocket clip, okay? So you can clip this to your pocket, clip it to a bag, anywhere you want, right? So you have those two different carry options, but it kind of stands out the most as being a belt buckle mounted multi-tool, which is pretty cool. All right, so how to dismount this, all right, is to push this button in the middle. So you push down and slide, all right, and then the multi-tool comes off of the actual backing, all right? So you can see how that works. There's a little uh, hole and slot, so it kind of locks in place. So putting it back, same thing, you're going to drop it into the hole and push over, and it snaps in place, all right? So it's not going to come loose. So this will basically sit on your belt buckle, and you would push your thumb on there and pop it off if you needed the actual multi-tool, all right? So you can see this folds up here. And we have a full size plier. All right, pretty interesting in the design here. And you can see there's cutouts. It kind of shows about half of that design there, okay, because the handle itself, this goes inside of the handle. So you can see where that design kind of ends there. It's pretty unique, it's interesting. It doesn't make for the most comfortable uh, grip on it or anything. Uh, there are some kind of, you know, thinner enders here, but it's definitely a usable multi-tool. All right, so that's the biggest thing is having full-size uh, pliers. But when you fold this in, you can see there are tools on both sides. These are pretty unique. All right, so on the one side, we have a pair of scissors. Now, when you open this, they do lock open. Okay, so you have a little pair of scissors. To unlock them, you have to pull out the black tool, all right? So the black tool in this case happens to be a Phillips head screwdriver, but you can see there's also a symbol for a lock on it, okay? It's completely covered black, so you know that. So when this is pushed up, it unlocks the scissors. All right, you can see how this is working. This little pin goes in this slot, and it's kind of like a, uh, almost like a back lock, all right? So these are locked in, but when you pull this tool out, it pushes, the spine of it pushes out that bar, which disengages the lock for the main tool. Okay, so you have scissors, flathead, all right, now the lock tool itself, ironically, doesn't lock. When that's open, it's just freely moving, all right? So, on this, in this case, it's just the scissors and the Phillips head on the one side, all right? On the other side, we have our main blade, which does open and lock, which is very nice, all right? Just a tiny bit of blade play in there, and then, of course, we have two other tools here. First, we have the lock tool, okay, which again is all black. In this case, it's a flathead. Now, all these little bits here, okay, these all work as bottle openers, but the, you need a little nub in order to actually pull it out. So even though they are bottle openers, that's its main function is to be able to retrieve it from the handle here. All right, so blade, flathead screwdriver, all right, and when this is open, obviously, it's going to disengage our blade, so we can shut that blade. But the other tool on this side of the handle here is actually a long screwdriver. It's a long flathead screwdriver with a file, all right? And this flathead screwdriver, they actually uh, tell you to use to remove these screws for the pocket clip or the screws, the flathead screws for this uh, bar here, if you're not gonna be using it as a belt buckle, as well as the flathead screw for the nub for the belt buckle, all right? So you can actually use the tool itself to change that. Now this does also lock open. So the blade on this side or the flathead uh, slash file also lock. All right, so it has to be up in order to disengage. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Now something you might notice is this black speckling, all right, that's on my, my fingers here. We get that camera to focus. Um, this tends to be very dirty. Whatever finish this is that's on here actually comes off. All right, now this is not or was not subjected to any kind of crazy chemicals or you know extreme heat or cold or anything I don't know why but this black coating 
uh, does actually kind of flake off a little bit, okay? Now these were used a little bit, but not actually carried as a belt buckle, um, so there's no reason for it to be wearing like that. If you happen to have these tools, of course, let me know down in the comment section if yours does the same thing or not. But again, how this works is when you're pushing this button in on the front, all you're doing is lifting up. All right, let me zoom in so you can see that better. Lifting up on the back, which is allowing it to pass through the hole like underneath, and then that's what locks it in. All right, so just resting on the front here and pushing over locks that tool in. So yeah, that's the large version. The small version is very similar, works exactly the same way. All right, push the button, it unlocks. All right, this also unfolds. We have a smaller full size, I guess, I don't know if you can call that full size, but we do have uh, pliers, all right? And the tools that are on this one here are of course a little bit different. These do not lock at all. All right, so we have an awl, we have our main blade. Like I said, in this case, they do not lock, it just works like a slip joint. All right, and on the other side here, pop these tools out. You see, same thing, we have the small flathead screwdriver, which, you know, same deal with its own tool. You can use those to remove the screws and stuff, uh, as well as a file. Now, we got to get in close to show you this. This uh, tool is pretty interesting. They call this a jewelry driver. All right, so you can see, and naturally, again, this is a bottle opener. Now, this is not exposed to the outside. That's actually tucked in the handle, so I do believe that was meant to be a bottle opener. It has a little bit of a wider mouth. But yeah, jewelry driver, you can see it's just a, a metal piece. It's not sharpened, but it is tapered. Very thin towards the tip, and then of course narrows down towards the tip there. Um, not really sure, I'm not a jeweler. Maybe it makes it easy to get batteries in and out of watches, or you know, place pieces you know, around, I suppose. Don't really know. If you are a jeweler, of course you can chime in, let me know if this is a nice version of that particular tool. So there you go, just like the big brother. Just locks in. Let me push that, all right, so it locks together. So the Sync 1, I believe, is the smaller one, and the Sync 2 is the larger one. The Sync 1 was definitely discontinued, although I still see that they're in stock on um, uh, Blade HQ. I'm not sure if the Sync 2 is actually still being produced, but they're both available. I think the Sync 2 is around $65, and I wanna say that the Sync 1 is more like $45 or $50, something like that. But uh, pretty interesting tools nonetheless, so if you guys are into multi-tools, you might want to check these ones out, particularly if you wear a belt buckle. It's kind of cool to be able to carry your gear and free up some more room in the pocket. Uh, but if you're like me and you don't wear a belt buckle, um, using these large flat clips is another good option to actually carry and use these things. So that's all. Just want to touch upon that. It's been a while since I did a video on a multi-tool. Speaking of which, I do have uh, a Leatherman Free that I want to do, uh, do a video on eventually. Uh, I got it a while back when they were first, uh, you know, really popular and stuff, but haven't used it all that much, so I want to focus on that and start carrying a little bit more and eventually do a video on that as well. So, that's all for now. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Hope you have an awesome day. If you carry a multi-tool, let me know down in the comments section what is your favorite multi-tool to EDC. Uh, for me, I have to say, of all of them, probably... Ooh, it's tough. It really is tough, but I like full-size multi-tools. I love a ton of Leathermans. I actually like the uh, Leatherman Wingman quite a bit, even though it's one of the cheaper models. But of all of them, the one that gets the most pocket time slash belt organizer time has to be the um, Victorinox Swiss Tool. It is just awesome. I did do a video talking about that compared to Leathermans. It's just like a tiny notch above as far as uh, quality. And it's saying a lot because Leatherman makes very high quality tools. If you carry a multi-tool, let me know down in the comment section what is your favorite multi-tool to EDC. But anyway, that is it for now. Hopefully you guys have a fantastic day, and I'll see you tomorrow with a brand new video. Take care.